Somerset go on the attack to set daunting final day target at Taunton. A fast and fiery five-wicket haul from Jamie Overton meant that championship leader Somerset looked poised for a first innings lead, despite a fine hundred from visiting captain Sam Northeast. Hampshire resumed on day three, 79 behind, with just two first innings wickets remaining. Somerset were able to make the quick breakthrough they would have wanted as the ball after clattering Gregory through the covers, Allsop popped up a catch to mid-off to give the Somerset all-rounder his 250th first-class wicket. Mason Crane picked up a boundary of his own, but Gregory wrapped up the innings in his next over as Crane edged to slip to leave Hampshire 349 all-out, giving Somerset a lead of 59. Azar Ali wasted no time in getting Somerset's second innings going as he forced Abbott through the covers for four in the first over. It looked as though Somerset had decided their best chance of winning would be to score quickly and look for a declaration this evening, and the runs came thick and fast as the opening pair found the boundary regularly. Edwards was cut away for four as the 50 partnership came and went, the batsman rattling along at a rate of almost five and over as Mason Crane came in for some more punishment. and the stand soon passed 100 before Ali dabbed Barker down to third man to bring up his own 50 just before the lunch interval, with Somerset having an excellent morning as they advanced their lead to 169. Abel moved to his own half century in the second over of the session as he steered Barker past the solitary slip for four after lunch. He then caressed Barker through extra cover, but was bowled by the next ball as he tried to steer it through the leg side. First inning centurion James Hildreth came and went as a loose drive saw him edge Barker to slip, giving Hampshire a second wicket. The run rate slowed to a crawl after Hildreth's dismissal, but Ali was still able to move the Somerset lead past 200. But he was out when he uppercut a short ball from Abbott that picked out Fuller at third man. Banton counter-attacked with a series of punishing boundaries as Somerset upped the run rate once more. Banton was seemingly finding the rope at will as he moved to his own half century off 73 balls not long before tea, and Somerset reached the interval with a healthy looking lead of 295 as they looked to post a declaration total in the evening session. Bartlett looked to impose himself as the evening session began as he hammered Crane away for six before pulling the next ball away for four. He pulled another long hop to the boundary in Crane's next over, but he was gone from the next ball as he sliced to cover. Crane struck again soon afterwards when Banton tried to sweep, but gloved to replacement keeper McManus. Gregory's not the type to hang around, and he smashed Abbott back over his head for six as Somerset pushed towards a declaration total. Davis joined him to put his foot on the accelerator as he picked up a six and a four off Crane. But Gregory picked out Northeast as he tried to flog Edwards away. Best sent consecutive crane deliveries to the rope, but Edwards sent him on his way with an in-swinging Yorker. The game continued at a frenetic pace as Crane had Overton stumped. Gronewald clattered Edwards for six before Somerset called the batsman in at 358 for eight to set Hampshire 418 to win and give themselves four overs to make a breakthrough on the night. It took Gregory just one over to do that, as he got one to jag back and bowl Soames for a pair. 
Rahane responded by sending Gregory to the rope twice in his next over before Stumps arrived with Hampshire 12 for 1. They need a further 406 to win the game on the final day.